All right, so we are at ETTS, and we got the man from Canada himself, Mr. Preach. <laughs> That's right. Mr. Preach from Aubin Preach. He called me, he was like, hey, I need that Benelli M4 in my life. <laughs> I need. I need the Benelli M4. Yeah. So I got the Benelli M4 for you. Ah, uh, there you go. Yes. So, so it's Benelli M4. I remember you were saying you watched the 30 second review yes, I did I on did. this gun. Yeah. This is my 30 second review of the Benelli M4 12 gauge semi automatic shotgun, or as I like to call it, the Ferrari of the tactical shotgun world. It has a fixed stock, has a rubberized pistol grip, also has ghost spring sights, has a rail for you to mount red dots on it, has an 18.5 inch barrel, and has a capacity of 5 plus 1 rounds, giving you a total of 6. What really makes this gun special is that it's piston driven and not gas driven. Thus, the gun runs off of inertia. Here, let me show you. See? This, yes, I so, did. it's a semi automatic shotgun. Um, Five, I think five rounds plus one chamber. I think you can go slow to and have you said six. Five plus one. Six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, no, actually, I think it's five plus one, and then you can go slow it, which I actually technically give you seven. Okay. Yeah. And so we can start off with this. Hold on, I gotta put on my baby, my baby oil. <laughs> oh, I'm mad at it. That's what everybody thinks. Everybody thinks it's baby oil. No, it's, it's not baby oil. It's sun, suntan. I'm mad. I'm black as hell, and I still put on sunscreen. Hey. Took his head off. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> that was the whole point. <laughs> Take my head well, off. Well, I think I heard you. <laughs> I think he heard you. Oh, man. I'm just gonna put the slugs back in. The bolt is a little different. So if you go back and forth, where on AR, it goes back and forth internally, but not on the outside because you rack it from the back. So, because from there to there is 15, and from there to there is another 50. Cool. So, this is about 100, 100 yards. Or what is that? What is that in meters for you? Uh, Never mind. Imperial. Let's just. No, don't don't stop me with that bullshit. I told you yesterday. You gonna tell me? Oh yeah, you guys are weird. But all your bullets are in. Imper stop it. <laughs> Millimeters is our thing. Okay, don't call me weird, cause I go in meters. But then when it's time to measure bullets, you go millimeter. No, it's, don't. It's kind of weird. No, we're not. We're not. No, we're not doing this. It's kind of weird. Yeah. How many inches is the bullet? Exactly. Start shooting. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do me like that. Don't. Hey, we're not doing that. Try to give me that bullshit. Oh it's yeah, weird. you guys are weird. It is kind of weird. You're the weird guys. You switch it up. We just do our own thing. Yeah, I, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. So how many inches is a bullet? Man, you asking irrelevant questions that nobody needs to answer to. <laughs> Why are you only talking about inches and bullets? Jesus Christ. How many meters is that? That's about a uh, hundred. <laughs> no, it's, it's, this should be, I think in yards, you know, the normal people. Just, Shut up. You're the only one in the world using that. That's, that. Which is why I don't understand why y'all don't get on board. Why would we? That, it's oh. easy. It's, it's, it's the, it's, never mind. Let's just, this motherfucker got me triggered for no reason. <laughs> it, it's easier. Why you don't get on board? Millimeters. Talking all this crap, but my op, my scopes, they're all in mills. <laughs> so I'm really full. You really want to be honest. At least you know it. Yeah. So I appreciate that. I appreciate you. You know you fool. <laughs> right now we're at about 50 yards, right? <laughs> Maybe a little bit more. So do me a favor. 75 meters. So <laughs> <laughs> I can wrap this up right now if you want. No. <laughs> so what I want to what I want you to do is all right. Uh, on those air probes, I don't know if I put batteries in these. Let me see. Did you hear any difference? Yes. Okay, good. All right. So right now I'm gonna do a shameless plug. These are the AKT1 earphones. What? You, they yeah. have microphones in there. Damn. So thank you, thank you. Shameless plug time. <laughs> so, yeah. Each of you want to turn to the side real quick. We're gonna use you as a model. The other side. The other side. All right. Thank so, you very much. Yeah. <laughs> so these are the AKT1 ear protection. So what these do is basically, so what I did was I turned them on. So I had to turn them off. Yeah. So that's complete, com complete off. protection, right? So it's designed to block out as much noise as possible. Yeah. However, when I turn them on, what it does is it, it'll clip the height. It'll clip the sound levels that the, it considers dangerous. Mm -hmm. I don't know the complete science behind it because I ain't go to school for that. But 
what it does is whenever it peaks to a certain point, it shuts off and, and protects that much. But while I'm talking to you, at a lower level, yeah, you can it, hear me it, clearly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. But hey, uh, those are going to be available at the Kanye Noir shop. Just if you, it's 25% off. Noir hey, 25. Hey, relax, relax. Use Whoa, more. Relax with all the 25% <laughs> off stuff. You're going to talk that shit? You're going to talk that? Let's go. So use promo code Noir 25. Yeah, and you're going to get 25% off of those. Real, that's, that's, They're amazing. That's, 25 off. That's not a real on the code. Kanye. That's not a real code. It's a fake code. It's fake. It's fake. <laughs> We don't have no margins. <laughs> it's a fake code. <laughs> Call you. Why is the code not working? You're full of shit. Yeah. Same thing with measuring shit. Oh, here All we right. Go. Here we go. With that shit again. Why am I pissing off a guy that has a gun in his hand? I'm stupid a bit. Because you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> You got it? It's super weird. Yeah, because it's almost it, it like- It does the same, it, it's just- it's, Yeah. Yeah, all right, so now. Take it's basically like if this was a bad word every time. Uh, it, so it's like almost it, like a sensor. Yeah, every time it's just- That's a good way to put it. It sensors- It sensors. The bad sounds. And allows only the good oh, sounds. Let me check something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We don't, we don't like the word sensor over here, so it also censors the word sensor. <laughs> Right? If you say it loud enough. So now what I want you to do, and I just want you to trust me. Yeah. I want you to take them off completely. And then listen to it. And the only reason I'm doing this is because I, I have a suppressor on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Now it's not, but what I want you to do, because a lot of people think when you put a suppressor on a gun, it's super, 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 super quiet. No, all the shit, all the shit that you see in the movie, the toot, toot, toot. Yeah, that's, that's not the case. It's, that's not true. That's right. not true. It's more like a tack. Yeah. Than, well, you, you, you're about to find out what it's like right now. Okay, let's go. <laughs> find out. That was not suppressed. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> what the? <laughs> so here's, here's you. So what the f does it sound at, like when you don't have that shit on? Well, I'm not going to let you listen to it like that because then it'll hurt you. I'm your over ears. there. No, it's not going to make a difference. <laughs> oh, really? It's loud. Yeah. yeah so, so imagine. So I want you to imagine. See how loud that was yeah. and that's suppressed. Now, to be fair, this is a small suppressor. Okay. Right? So it's a smaller suppressor. So it's going to, it's not going to be as quiet as other suppressors that are longer. But I think this is a perfect, you saw how you, you noticed how loud it was, yeah. but it didn't make you go, oh my God, no, 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 no. right? That's the point. So this is set up so that it makes it quiet enough that I can shoot it without my ear bleeding, bleeding while still giving you the report that, gotcha. no, not the report you need, but basically I don't need it to be super, super, super mm -hmm. quiet. And it won't be super, super quiet because once that bullet be. leaves the gun and it breaks that sound barrier, you're going to get another crack. Yes. So there's nothing you can do about that. So now it's your turn to shoot. All right, yes, sir. There you go. He's swinging on you. I'm too low. Yeah, hold hold that red dot right on the center of the target. Because this is this is for somebody who's never shot an AR before, shooting at this distance with this short of a gun is actually pretty. It's not easy. Okay. Yeah. I'm mad. You know, being at 75 meters and all. <laughs> Hold on. Now I'm talking. You're talking. Shit. I'm talking to the dude with a gun. Yeah. The <laughs> there you go. Looks like you found this rhythm. Yep.
this is my favorite question because yeah. it's all I care about. Everybody knows all I care about. Which gun looks the best? Well, this one looks... Ah, uh, man. Uh, nah, nah. <laughs> now I'm going to insult the... Just hide the guns. I'll answer it. I'm not going to disrespect them in front of their face. Pick one. No, the one that looks the best... Oh. I like that one. Yeah. I like that one. I'm with you. I like that I one. I agree. I like that one. That's where I am. No disrespect. That, that, it does that's look that's good. really close second. Close second. Very close second. But yeah. And this one just gets the job done. Doesn't care. This one, I could say you ugly, but he's going to look at me like, I don't give a shit. I get the job done, don't I? So, mm. This is how I do it. This is wifey. <laughs> just a side chick. This is side, right? This is bottom. <laughs> she gets the job done. I was, no gonna, say, what. I was gonna say. I was gonna say like you know like stripper, bottom beat. That is. She that gets is, the, yeah. the job yeah. done no matter what. You know what? That's beep, beep. Yo, be there. I will be there. He actually is making a phenomenally <laughs> great point. <laughs> Listen, that one don't care. It don't look, care. look at it. It's it nasty. It's dirty. It don't care. It's fun. It don't care. It does all it cares about is having a great time. It ain't that accurate. It don't care. A little stubby barrel. Mm -hmm. Right? But gets I can keep now. going, but then this video is going to get demonetized. <laughs> 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 if yeah. I had to pick one for, what did I ask you? Uh, which one that feels most comfortable in my hand? This one. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's just the way this sits here, and I can just I can run that thing, mm -hmm. and that trigger just bounces. Um, the one that gives me the most pure joy, that just puts a smile on my face yeah, every single time. Yeah. From from loading it to shooting it to everything about everything about this is just very visceral mm -hmm. and organic. Like it just from like when you load it, load around in here, it spins, right? The way it loads the big bullets, the way you have to close the cylinder. The way you pull back on the hammer, the way you reject it, like everything, everything about this gun is just a bit sensorial, beautiful cacophony. See, I can't speak French, so I just make up big English words. It could have been, it so, could have been a thing. A cacophony of texture, of textile, emotive, sensation, abracadabra. C'est une espèce de joie, de pure joie, viscérale et intrinsèque dans la courbe de ce dit pistolet qui revolve, dit le nom revolver, dans son âme intègre, pure, dur, fascinant. Big bird. <laughs> well, thank you very much, sir. It was a pleasure. Absolutely. I'll be back next week. Hey. hey <laughs> thank you very much for that, man. Absolutely. This is amazing. Bro. And I'm gonna get myself an M4. Peter, pick up these guns! <laughs> oh, Peter, man. pick up the guns, God You know how frightening it is to think about what happens in the moments before, during, and even days after having to use your gun in self-defense? When you first start carrying a gun for protection, it can be a very scary and nerve-wracking experience, especially if you haven't gotten the education and training you need to feel confident. I've been there myself hoping I never have to go through a self-defense shooting, which is why I'm a member of the USCCA. As a USCCA member, you can eliminate some of the stress of carrying a gun for protection by accessing the amazing wealth of firearm education, training, and current state-specific gun laws of your state or states you may travel to. This can help you be prepared for or hopefully even avoid a self-defense incident. As a bonus, members automatically become insured on the self-defense liability insurance policy purchased by an issue to the USCCA. Click below to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, make sure you hit that bell symbol.